Welcome back to the How to Write a Book Vlog with me, Tez Elias. Each week, I take you through the process of writing a book from beginning to end. This chapter, chapter seven, but what if in this chapter, I'm gonna go through my fears of writing a book and answer some of your questions. You know, we all have doubts. We all have insecurities. I've got massive insecurities and doubts about this book. What if I've written a shit book? What then? I mean, the only thing I can say to that is, obviously I'm biased. I don't think it is shit. I wanna write an incredible book that people read and think I need to recommend this. Is it that? I don't know. No. I think it is good, but I don't know how good it is. The readers and critics will let me know that. But I think it is good. But obviously, I want it to be better than good. I want it to be incredible. But that's not for me to say. And all I say is, I've done my best. I have done the best that I can do. You can only do the best you can do. You can't do any more than that because then it wouldn't be the, your best, would it? It'd be beyond that. You're only capable of 100%. No one is, you know, it's like, oh, I'll give it 110%. It's impossible. You can only give it 100%. And I will say that I have done my best work in this book. If that's not good enough and people are like, this is shit, then that's fine. That it is what it is. Is, but I've done the best that I can. If I had finished this book and thought to myself, you know what, I could have worked harder. It could have been better. You know that there were times where you could have done this, you could have done that. I can't say that. I can say I've worked as hard as I can on this book and it's as good as I'm capable of making it. That's all you can do. Make something as good as you can make it. And hopefully other people will like it too. I'm, I'm really hoping that they do. So, you know, if it's shit, then... I did my best. Which is then kind of linked to why people don't like it. Hey, things are subjective. People don't have to like it. That's fine. People can watch the same film and have two very different opinions about it. Even the best films in the world are not universally loved. There are some of the most amazing films of all time. Some people hate them. Some people hate Tarantino. That's fine. He's not going to lose any sleep over that, is he? Some people don't like... Lord like, of the Rings. Some idiots don't like Lord of the Rings. Just put your gun away. It's not fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. People don't like something you've created. It's fine. Things are subjective. You like it. You're proud of it. That means a lot. And hopefully enough people will like your thing. And hopefully enough people will like my book. Another doubt I've got though. What if it doesn't sell a lot of copies? What if it flops? That'd be upsetting. I'm not going to lie. I'd be if I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna sell like a million books or whatever fine but like you know you wanna sell some books in it you wanna sell a little bit of, you wanna sell a little bit in it so I'm hoping that it does sell a bit and you guys can help by that you can pre-order now the link is in the description you can go pre-order it right now if it doesn't sell a lot of copies but it is what it is isn't it sometimes things are outside of your control what I can do is make sure that I market the book make sure that I talk about it make sure that I put it on my social media make sure that I'm doing interesting engaging posts that gets people engaged with my book that's what I can do. You know, I've got marketing people with the publishers that will do their job. There's people who will do their jobs in it. But ultimately, if people don't want to buy the book, they won't buy the book. And it is what it is. All I can do is what's in my control. Other things aren't in my control. Like what people decide to do is not in my control. So why worry about it? There's an Islamic saying which goes, you will only ever get what is written for you. Nothing more, nothing less. So if it's in my destiny that I will sell thousands and thousands and thousands of books, brilliant. But if it's my destiny that I will only sell hundreds of books, you know, and not as many as I'd like, then it is what it is. I can just do what I can do which is work hard on marketing it and pushing it out to people and making sure that they're aware of it the rest of it is outside of my control inshallah it will sell a lot of copies inshallah okay you guys have been sending me your questions so now I want to answer them okay here's one will it be English it doesn't even say will it be in English it just doesn't will it be English will it be English will it no it is Punjabi Josi Bevakuf Bande. Uh, yes, the book is going to be in English. <coughs> I mean, maybe over time, if it sells enough copies, they get translated into other languages, but primary language of the book is English. Good luck, good luck with that, Ash44MK. Do I write or type? Yeah, because I've been talking about writing a book, haven't I? So you might think that I'm writing a book. No, I'm it's metaphorical, isn't it? When, when we say writing these days, we, we mean it metaphorically. Like, we, we're writing a book. Yeah, I type it. Even back in the day, like, you know, those famous back in the day pictures and the people are on the typewriters, isn't it? I mean, it's called a typewriter. People be like, I'm writing a book. That's what, even now that we're typing, we still say we're writing a book. I don't, yeah, I'm not physically writing a book like I'm in year nine. How do I go about getting a signed copy? Very good question. There is an event. Originally, I was gonna go on tour in it. I was gonna do a book tour where people come out, I do some readings, make everyone laugh, then there's a book signing at the end. Obviously, we can't do that because of the situation. If the book was coming out in June or July, we could do that as well, but it's out in April, so it's just too soon before things get back to normal. But there is gonna be an online event, so look out for that. There'll be a link in the description. Go buy that copy. Also, if you just buy a normal copy and you see me out and about and you got the book on you for some reason, then just come up to me and ask me to sign it, and I'll sign it. Or when I'm on tour later, this year, here's the date, 
gates. A link for that will also be in the description. Bring your book with you to the tour gig and I'll sign it for you. There's several ways you can get a signed copy. And you know what? You know when I'm out and about and I see my book on the bookshelf, I might just sign some random copies just for lucky people out there. To some lucky thespians. No questions, just excited to read this. Ah, thank you, Anissa. That's very kind of you. Some of these questions I've already answered in the vlog. So for example, how did you get the idea of writing a book? How did you go about publishing it? How does this process work? Very good questions. The questions I have already answered in previous chapters. So please do go back and watch the whole thing. Why are you just coming straight at chapter 7? I have no idea. But regardless, it's fine. What motivated you to write your book? The pandemic. Nothing else to do. Did you find it hard to express slash record your whole life on paper? You know what? Actually, it was quite therapeutic. In the final book that I'm publishing, there are bits that I've written that didn't make it. When I wrote it originally over the summer, and then you look back at it a few months later, you're like, you know what? Maybe that's a bit oversharing. Maybe I don't need to tell the world that bit or that bit about that person because that's not necessarily my story to tell. But it was very therapeutic getting it all out and letting my publisher read all of it and us discussing it. That was very therapeutic. So I'd recommend that. It's a very, very interesting exercise. But yeah, there are some bits that I then took out and was like, okay, it was nice to get it off my chest, but the whole world doesn't need to see it. So yeah, good question. It's a good question this. Did you ever just reread a bit and hate it? And if so, how did you deal with that? Yeah. So you're never going to make anything perfect the first time round. So there are bits that I wrote and then reread them either a day later or even a few months later and thought, yeah, I've not really expressed myself that well there. But that's what the editing process is for. I mean, I've gone over it so many times now and I'm not saying it's perfect, but I'm really happy with it. But yeah, there were, there were moments where I was like, why did I write it like that? Or why? That is a really boring way of writing that story. Fortunately for me, I also had my editor for an extra pair of eyes to be like, you can make that more interesting. Change that into a present perspective rather than a past perspective or you know all that sort of stuff a first person perspective rather than a third person perspective all these little things that made the in stories more interesting and then again there were bits that was like yeah you, you've written that it doesn't need to be in the final edit make changes good question though okay final question do you feel your book would be funnier than you in your stand-up shows or not it's a good question without a doubt no because the book is intended to not just be funny it's intended to also tell you bits about my life which weren't necessarily funny some more heartwarming stories some sad stories so the book is more rounded whereas stand-up my job is to entertain people and make them laugh whereas the book is not necessarily laugh 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 all the way through there are some funny bits in it there are some sad bits in it but because the book is about life and that's what life is made up of so no the book is not as funny as my stand-up but do come see me on tour later in the year because i'm fucking hilarious guys thank you so much for your questions i really enjoyed looking through them and answering them if i haven't answered all of them i apologize you can also leave some comments below and if i get to it i will answer your questions thank you for watching please don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel turn your notifications on come for the book stay for the comedy guys there's loads of videos on this channel now why not watch my youtube stand-up special testify it's crossed 100,000 views pretty decent for a self-reduced show don't you think and i'll see you next time with office <laughs> The reason critics were, um, um, is it over your chapter 7 or 8?